So we're going to be doing an angle bisector construction in this. And you'll notice I already have the angle printed on the paper. That's where you want to start. I'm going to go ahead and put a dot right here at the end of it so that it's clear where, I'm, where I am. So I'm going to put my starting point there. I'm going to go ahead and hold that down. And then I'm going to pick some place, and I'd like to be a little farther away. I'm going to use this one with the arrow pointing at it, and that's going to be my same. Now I have two choices here. Either I can completely forget about my compass setting or maintain the same one. It doesn't matter. I think it's a little nicer when I maintain it. I'm going to move my compass so that it's at this intersection between the two, the arc and my original angle, and make an arc mark somewhere in the middle of my angle. And I'm going to move over here. Again, same compass setting, and there I am. And so once I've done that, I have this point and that point. Those are my two fixed points. I'm going to connect them. And I have made the cut this angle into two equal pieces as perfect. So that's the angle bisector. I can also build off of this and make a couple of other things. I can connect from here to here, and that line will be parallel to the one on the bottom. I can also connect from here to here, and that line will be parallel that way. And all the since I might use the same arc marks the whole time. These are the, those are all the line segments will be equal and therefore it's a rhombus if I connect like that. So it's a really interesting way to make a rhombus, but, and that's only if I keep my arc marks the same the whole time. But there you go. That's basically it. It's pretty straightforward. I hope you had a good, it was helpful.